Welcome to DTV. I'm joined by uh, Jack Tringo following the uh, second win of the season and it's uh, great to say that, mate. The uh, scenes were fantastic just a moment ago, but what an unbelievable game. Oh, definitely, you know. We've got to take any win we can get at the moment with the season that we've had so far, so it is disappointing that we couldn't finish off in that last quarter, but it was really positive up until three-quarter time, so we'll take the win and uh, hopefully just keep moving forward from here. Talk about the last, say, ten minutes as a player being out there, what it was like. Yeah, it looks hard to describe. I was um, pretty scared there for a moment, but I knew we just had to keep cracking in, in the middle, especially because they just kept coming out with, uh, you know, no, under no pressure. So that was the thing that really let us down. But it was good that Watsy could go back in Howie and uh, take a few marks and just control the game a bit. But it's something we're going to have to move, uh, work on in the future is holding on to those leads when we get them. What do you put it down to that final quarter? Was it just you, you'd sort of work pretty hard and just running out a bit of legs, or what, what do you sort of look at it uh, immediately after the game? Yeah, a bit of that, but I think we're fit enough to run out a game of footy. It's just um, they got a lot of momentum, and going into the game, we knew that you know they're number one in the comp from centre bounce clearances, and um, they're really strong in the midfield with Minson in the ruck and stuff. So that really came to the fore in that last quarter. So moving forward, we just got to make sure that we're on top of that when they come at us and. Um, try to get the control back into our, our hands. So many positives in the first three quarters in particular. What, what really stood out to you over the night? Yeah, I think we just had them under the pump all night and one of the things that Craigie really emphasised is when we have the ball in our hands, making them defend us because um, we have, for, throughout the start of this year, it's been a lot of us chasing the opponent, so we wanted to make sure that we defend really hard, but when we get in our hands, we really test them and... That was, that was in the end that which decided the game. We just took the game on and kicked more goals than them, I guess. Yeah. Just singing the song a few minutes ago, you haven't had a chance to do that much this year. I mean, what was it like to uh, sing it with gusto and just you know, the, the energy of coming off the ground like that? Oh, that's what you play footy for, to sing the song like that with your mates that you've just gone to battle with. And um, I think a few of the boys were a bit rusty and didn't really know how to react. But, um, nah, hopefully, as I said, it's just building from now on in and um, keep moving forward. You played in many games like that before over your footy career? Um, a few. There was one over in Darwin at the start of my career against Port Adelaide where they came on hard in that last quarter and we just got over the line, but they're never ones that you really want to play in. You want to be, it's a lot easier when you win comfortably, but at the end of the day we got the four points and um, the boys couldn't be happier. Last few minutes, a couple of important grabs. You talked about what's easier you were involved with that sort of chain along the way. I mean, what was it like just being involved with that sort of passage? Yeah, yeah, I don't know, some of the guys just like Watsy, you love to have the ball in his hands because you know he's just so composed with the ball and it was just a matter of getting in our hands and then really slowing the game down and trying to get stoppages after stoppage and um, especially when they get a run on like they did but um, yeah, it is pretty nerve wracking. Well, it's good to see you have a smile, great win, well done and uh, enjoy uh, the celebrations. Yeah, thanks for that, Burgo, cheers. Well